joining us this evening on TKO8 Local News. 30-year-old Rachel Katrina Farman of Mountain Home, a woman was ar- a woman who was arrested Saturday following an investigation into a burglary on Old Military Road. According to Baxter County Sheriff John Montgomery, the uh, victims reported that their residence had been broken into through a sliding glass door and several items were missing, including firearms and jewelry. When questioned about the burglary, Farham allegedly became uncooperative and threatened the lives of the victims. She now faces felony charges of residential burglary, theft of property, and terroristic threatening. She's being held in the Baxter County Jail on a $100,000 bond. Greg Nicholas of Huntsville, uh, who claimed he was uh, hunting ISIS camps in Madison County has pled not guilty to impersonating a federal officer. Nicholas was arrested April 13th after Huntsville police learned that Nicholas told a local sports store he worked for the Department of Homeland Security. Nicholas also asked the shop to sue DHS, uh, to, excuse me, sew DHS patches on his uh, camouflage t-shirts. When he was arrested, Nicholas was driving a gray Chevrolet pickup with multiple Department of Homeland Security decals on the side windows. Uh, He also had decals on the tailgate in the back of the vehicle and was equipped with a red and blue flashing light and a siren. Criminal impersonation is a Class D felony and punishable by uh, up to six years in prison and a $10,000 bond. Machete Ford of Flippin, who was found to have 169 dosage units of LSD and 3 grams of methamphetamine, along with two Xanax bars and items of drug paraphernalia, has entered a not guilty plea in those charges against her. During her court appearance, Ford's bond was lowered from $10,000 and she was allowed to enter the treatment program operated by Care Center Ministries. If Ford leaves the program, she's required to immediately return to the Baxter County Jail. A Yellville woman, 44-year-old Elena Ray, received minor injuries in a one-vehicle accident Sunday morning when her southbound car ran off the road, struck a rock bluff, and overturned. Missouri State Highway Patrol reports the accident occurred on State Highway 125 in the Pro Tem Missouri area southeast uh, in the uh, southeastern part of Taney County around 11:15 p.m. The Highway Patrol reported uh, that Ray's 2007 Dodge Caliber received extensive damage. The report indicated Ray received minor injuries and was transported to Cox Branson Hospital. Well, the Cub Scouts of Harrison Troop 160 have a very unique opportunity coming up. And with the Community and Tractor Supply Company of Harrison support, the boys are getting a chance to visit and stay overnight on the USS Alabama. TK08 News spoke with those involved for more information and how you can help. Tractor Supply is big in community involvement. Um, and we have... Uh, we have had a great relationship with FFA and 4-H for many, many years, and um, for me, I've always enjoyed the Boy Scouts, you know, meeting at the store, coming up here and doing fundraisers and stuff like that. Now, this Saturday, July 1st at 11 a.m., uh, we're going to be holding a fundraiser here at Tractor Supply in the parking lot outside. If you're going to be doing silent auctions, you can win a one-day pontoon rental, a juicer, a milkshaker, coupons to Colton's. We're going to be grilling hot dogs, hamburgers, uh, we'll serve chips, I think possibly cookies. Not sure about drinks yet, but it is a fundraiser for uh, the Wee Belows at Cub Scout Pack 160 here in Harrison. Uh, they're raising the funds for a trip to Mobile, Alabama to tour and uh, sleep overnight on the USS Alabama battleship in Mobile. This trip is going to be so awesome for us and everybody else coming is because we're going we're, uh, we're to be carpooling in a van. All right. and plus, it's a, probably a haunted battleship and it's going to be creepy and fun to sleep in. We might be going somewhere new we haven't 
gone to, and we'll get to sleep on a battleship that's not haunted. And but uh, it should be a very fun and exciting trip for these young men, uh, but also educational. Uh, they're going to see a lot of American history, and uh, we're just hoping for a good turnout for the fundraiser and really appreciate the support. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at some headline news from around the region as TKO8 News continues. These 4th of July savings are sizzling this week at Edwards Grocery. Select a variety of bar as franks, two for $1. Pork steaks, only $1.49 per pound of the family packs. Red rye pole seedless watermelons, only $2.99 each. Original or mesquite best choice charcoal briquettes, only $4.99. And select a variety of Gatorade thirst quenchers, only $0.79. Cents. Edwards Grocery. When you support a locally owned pharmacy, you're contributing to the growth of a community. The dollars you spend stay right here to support our local community. Healthmart pharmacies are locally owned pharmacies. There is one right here. Healthmart pharmacists have a crucial commitment to their community because just like you, they support their community. Healthmart pharmacies are locally owned and hometown proud. Harrison has a Healthmart now. Sam Alexander Pharmacy, on the square in downtown Harrison. Healthmark, caring for you and about you. This is Josh from Harrison Battery and Tire. Lots of folks have been asking about roadside assistance, and now it's available. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, we can quickly and efficiently take care of your tires and battery issues with one phone call. Professional, secure, comforting to get you back on the road. No matter what time, no matter what type of vehicle you drive, call for details at 870-741-7041. Harrison Battery and Tire on the curve of Main Street in Harrison, harrisonbatteryandtire.com. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. Hello, this is Michelle from Nature's Wonders. Are you trying to get out and take in these beautiful days, but find that you end up sneezing, itching, and getting all sorts of bites or rashes? Don't let outdoor allergies, bugs, or poisonous plants keep you from enjoying all that the Ozarks has to offer this season. Stop in at Nature's Wonders and let us show you the products we carry that can help with the challenging parts of nature so that you can enjoy all the wonders. Find us on Highway 65 just down from Thompson's Ace Hardware. Nature's Wonders, the natural living store. Ah, sweet Louise, do you dream of Hercules? He'll be the best, best boy in town, where you sure are something, the best there ever was. The new Sport Heritage Line. Well, it won't mean nothing, unless you try my life and bring it right to you, Louise. Only from Yamaha. Authorities say a 32-year-old man has drowned in northeastern Arkansas. Craighead County Sheriff's officials say that Robert Holyfield of Marmaduke, Arkansas, drowned Sunday in an area known as Williams Landing near the Lake City area. The Sheriff's Office says that Holyfield was among a group of people who were swimming when he went under the water and did not resurface. The sheriff's office said deputies were called shortly before 6.30 p.m., and the Holyfield's body was recovered shortly thereafter around 7.30 p.m. A Central Arkansas police officer who who shot a man during a uh, low-speed chase has been cleared of any wrongdoing. Sherwood Police Officer Todd Abbott shot 26-year-old Jose Luis Burgess, who, uh, who's res- when responding to a domestic disturbance in December. Police say that Burgess was followed by authorities uh, at the scene when he fled in a vehicle. Abbott reportedly fired one shot at the vehicle and hit the windshield, which hit Burgess in the chest. Uh, Pulaski County Deputy Prosecuting Attorney John Johnson says his office determined the shooting was justified. Burgess survived and was charged with felony counts of fleeing, 
aggravated assault, and third-degree domestic battery. He negotiated a guilty plea in May and was sentenced to six years of probation. Well, the state plant board has voted to ban the sale and use of Dakamba. The Agriculture Council of Arkansas said in a 9-to-5 vote that the expediting the enforcement of the new penalties were very important. The board's action, however, must be approved by the governor and the legislature before the ban can go into effect. Prior to this decision, the board reported a, that it had received 135 complaints of alleged Dikamba misuse in over 17 counties. Dikamba is a selective uh, herbicide in the uh, chlorophensi family of chemicals. It uh, comes in a, a several different uh, formulas and uh, is an acid formulation. And it's a common herbicide uh, that is used to get rid of weeds and woody plants in this part of the country. Well, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers officials have, uh, are very much expected to begin repairing nine sections of the levee along the Black River in northeast Arkansas that was damaged with floods last month. Emergency workers are making plans to cover the holes in case of torrential rains such as the ones in May that caused record river levels in the Pocahontas area. Plans include installing meshed baskets in the holes and filling them with soil, sand, and rock to stop the flooding. The cost to repair the levee is estimated to be around $2 million. In the last nine years, that levee system has broken three times. The Supreme Court ruled for uh, same-sex couples who complained uh, of uh, Arkansas birth certificate law that was discriminating against them. The justices issued an unsigned opinion reversing an Arkansas high court ruling that upheld the law. Under the law, the uh, married uh, lesbian couples had to get a court order to have both species, uh, sp- both excuse me, spouses listed on the uh, as parents on any child's birth certificates. Arkansas routinely lists a woman and a husband as the child's father and mother, even if it's not the biological uh, parents of that child. The same-sex couples want to say that uh, the presumption applied to married partners of a woman who gives birth to a child, and Justices Neil Gorchitz, Clarence Thomas, and Samuel uh, Alto uh, descended from that ruling. Before we take a look at the weather forecast, as we move on through the work week, here's the way the stock market ended today. Lower humidity and... Lower temperatures combined, making the weather conditions here in the Ozarks almost picture perfect lately. Looks like we may have a little warming trend, and unfortunately right now, long-range forecast going into the uh, uh, holiday weekend, if you will, as prior to the 4th of July, we may have some rainfall in the area, but not for a few days. Beautiful day out there today. Again, low humidity, a high temperature of 82 degrees under sunny skies. Tomorrow looks to be about the same as today. Not much difference temperature wise. Uh, On Wednesday again sunny skies about 88 degrees with the wind out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. On Thursday mostly sunny skies up to 87 degrees but Friday thunderstorms are in the forecast. High temperature of 81 degrees and thunderstorms particularly in the afternoon about 90 percent chance. That same chance continues into Saturday with thunderstorms again in the area, 82 degrees, 90% chance. And Sunday, scattered thunderstorms, 83 degrees and about 60% chance. But again, when you get this time of the year, those scattered thunderstorms may have a real hard rain shower here and nothing down the road a mile or so away. So you never know for sure. Hopefully it won't be a total washout. I know a lot of activities going on prior to uh, the 4th of July, which is next Tuesday. Uh, but uh, that forecast can change a lot in that length of time.
Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at sports from around the region. This TK08 News continues. The Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison is offering a great reason to wake up on Saturday mornings. Their incredible brunch. Starting at 7 a.m., you can enjoy all of your traditional breakfast favorites or some of these decadent dishes. Eggs Benedict, featuring an English muffin topped with ham, two eggs, made any way you like, and topped with fresh-made hollandaise sauce. Plus, you'll also get your choice of hash browns or home fries. Perhaps something even more delectable. Townhouse Cafe's fabulous U.S. farm-raised butterfly trout grilled with a drizzle of hollandaise sauce, two eggs any way you like, hash browns or home fries, and either a biscuit or toast on the side. Absolutely delicious. Saturday brunch at the Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison. Introducing the new 2017 Toyota RAV4. It comes with standard safety features, like a pre-collision system, to help make up for mankind's apparent lack of any safety sense whatsoever. The 2017 Toyota RAV4, where safety is standard. Right now, get $2,250 customer cash, or qualified lessees can lease the adventurous 2017 RAV4 LE for only $199 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Stinger struck out a career-high 12 in seven innings, and Jonathan India doubled in two runs. Florida beat LSU 4-3 in Game 1 of the College World Series Finals last night. The Gators need a win today or tomorrow to earn their first national championship. Randall Goodrick and Jed Garocco each homered and drove in three runs, leading the St. Louis Cardinals over the Cincinnati Reds 8-2 to yesterday afternoon. It was a uh, makeup for an uh, April 29th game that was postponed because of severe weather in the area. Goodrick hit his second homer in two games since being recalled from AAA, so a big game for him. And Kyle, uh, Kyle Swashberger says he's not surprised that the Chicago Cubs uh, uh, demoted him, saying that the numbers spoke for themselves. Swassberger's October return following a knee injury helped fuel Chicago's first World Series title in 108 years, but he was sent down to AAA Iowa after hitting a 171 in 64 games this season. And the St. Louis Blues didn't extend a qualifying offer to Nail Jokovic, making the 2012 number one pick an unrestricted free agent. Jokovic has just nine points in 40 games last year after four years with the Edmonton Oilers. The Russian winger has never uh, had more than 33 points in any one season. A 23-year-old man has been arrested after authorities say he smashed through two gates and drove his car into the basketball court at the University of Missouri over the weekend, causing an estimated $100,000 in damage. Police were called early Sunday after a Volkswagen Posset was driven through a closed gate at Mizzou Arena. The driver then went through the garage door and damaged several golf carts before steering onto the court, then leaving the same way before smashing through another gate. Wow. That wraps up our broadcast here for this evening. Thanks for joining us. Join us Monday through Friday at 6.30 and again at 10 p.m. as we continue to bring you local news, weather, sports, and local announcements from around the area on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. Now stay tuned for more local events around the viewing area. James MacGyver. Don't tell me you know how to make a bomb out of a stick of chewing gum. Why, you got some?